What's up everybody? For you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. Got a topic video for you today. This one was requested by a viewer. He wants me to talk about PAR. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about PAR. I'll talk about what the optimal PAR levels are for growing plants. And also I'll talk about PPF and PPFD, which are measurements of PAR. So first off, what is PAR? PAR stands for photosynthetically active radiation. It's the energy that your plants use in order to grow. The light emitted from the grow light are photons. Think of them as little balls of energy falling down onto your plant. And then of course your plant takes those photons and uses them for the photosynthesis process. So how much PAR does your plants need? There's a couple of different measurements that you can look at. PPF is the first thing that you can look at. PPF stands for photosynthetic photon flux. Basically what that is, is the total light output that a fixture emits. When growers are shopping for grow lights, and I often get people hitting me up asking me which grow lights to buy, one of the things I recommend them to look at is the PPF. Now there is such thing as giving your plants too much light, and of course you don't wanna be in a situation when you're not giving your plants enough light. So making sure the grow light you're looking to buy has enough PPF for that grow space is important in my opinion. So what are the optimal PPF levels for growing plants? Well, it really varies depending on what plant you're looking to grow. Uh, the chart I'm about to show you right now are the optimal levels for growing MJ plants. Now, if you're growing some other type of plants such as like leafy greens, lettuce, bok choy, spinach, uh, things like that, you won't need as intense PPF levels that I'm about to show. So on the screen right now, I'm showing the PPF levels, uh, which are optimal for MJ plants. Now I got this list from Eric from LED Grow Light Depot. This is actually part of their LED buyers checklist. And it's one of the top things that are mentioned on the checklist. So as you can see here, if you're in a five foot by five foot area, around 1500 micromoles per second PPF is sufficient for that grow space. Around 1100 to 1500 micromoles per second PPF for a four foot by four foot area. Around 600 to 850 micromoles per second PPF is gonna be sufficient for a three foot by three foot area. And around 275 to 375 micromoles per second PPF is gonna be good for a two foot by two foot area. These PPF numbers are just a general guideline. Somebody may reply in the comment section and say that they go after different PPF numbers. So just keep that in mind. So that's one of the things you can look at when you're shopping for an LED grow light. Uh, now, unfortunately, not all grow light listings are gonna have a PPF number. Some manufacturers just don't post a PPF number. Uh, if they do, bonus, you have something to go by. Uh, if not, then you're kind of out of luck there. I noticed that on LED Grow Light Depot website, most of the listings seem to have a PPF number, which is great. Uh, LED Grow Light Depot is one of the companies that I recommend. I actually have a link down in the description section below, and they have some of the top lights, some of the best lights for growing MJ plants. Now, if you're trying to buy a light off of Amazon, most of those lights, unfortunately, aren't gonna list uh, PPF data. So for those listings that don't show PPF data, uh, something else you can look at is PPFD instead. Uh, PPFD stands for Photosynthetic Photon Flux Density. And basically what that is is a spot check. It's gonna tell you in a particular spot what is the PAR output. On the screen right now, I'll show you what the optimal PPFD measurements are for MJ plants. And this is going by the light that is actually hitting your plants. Um, so the optimal levels for seedlings, clones, and mother plants are between 200 and 400 PPFD. In the vegetation stage, it's optimal to hit your plants with 400 to 600 PPFD. In the flowering stage, 600 to 900 PPFD is optimal. Now these numbers are without supplementing CO2. If you're supplementing CO2 in your grow room, you can increase these numbers. You can go for higher PAR numbers. Just like the PPF numbers that I showed you, these PPFD numbers are just general guidelines. Somebody might comment on this video and say that they go after different PPFD numbers. So just keep that in mind. Now there are a ton of other things that we can talk about when we're talking about lighting, but I do just wanna keep this video to PAR, PPF, PPFD. If there are any other topics that you want me to cover that relate to lighting, let me know in the comment section below. Just to give you a quick update on what's upcoming on this channel, uh, the next video I'm gonna actually hit you with a PAR test. I had a viewer recommend a particular grow light that he wanted to see a PAR test done on, so I reached out to that company and actually got them to send me a light. So that'll be coming up next, and then the video after that will be another Q&A video. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I release a new video. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up. And I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.